Uh, this is Shui with a review of the much anticipated Puma basketball shoes, the Clyde Court Disrupt. Hope that's lame. They should not have a really long name like that for signature basketball shoes, especially when they're trying to revive their uh, basketball game and to re enter the market. Uh, what's significant about Puma is that I love this brand because it was the uh, they provided a signature pair for Isaiah Thomas, not the IT, the fourth quarter ID that, that has disappeared from the map, uh, but Isaiah Thomas, the original Isaiah Thomas from the Detroit Pistons in the 1980s and 90s, the bad boys that won back-to-back -back championships. During that back-to-back -back championship run, Isaiah Thomas had a Puma basketball shoe signature. It, had a, it was a very simple, plain design with the Detroit a jersey colorway and a little basketball logo at the tongue just really tacky but it didn't look that bad uh, I, they looked like tennis shoes but it was the late 80s uh, it wasn't ahead of the time but it was a nice low-cut shoe so interesting uh, low-cut signature kicks which was a rarity in those days uh, they're not reviving those for some reason I would love to see them do a retro of that with uh, maybe some uh, upgraded tech uh, they're midsoles are pretty good. Puma has been using uh, the uh, uh, the Ignite foam which is a lot like Lunar except they're softer. They're softer. Maybe too soft. If you thought Lunar was too soft you probably would not like uh, Ignite. But if you wanted more uh, more uh, quicksand like sinking cushioning then Ignite is the cushioning for you. Uh, what they used in this particular model is a mixture of, uh, apparently, a mixture of Ignite foam and you'll see a little uh, like Rice crispy square treats type of uh, pattern there. Uh, these little palettes are something similar to the Boost foam or what's used in the Boost foam. What they do is they have a company named Basf that uh, uh, signed a deal, a deal with a bunch of uh, shoemakers or shoe companies. Puma and Adidas both had the rights to research these little pellets that can be heated up and uh, turned to uh, soft uh, shock absorbent foam. Uh, Adidas did a better job of mastering uh, mastering uh, the ways to uh, uh, cook it into the right uh, form that can be used as a midsole for a good cushioning. Puma is a little lagging behind. They had a shoe called Energy which was not very successful it looks like Boost, but it doesn't feel like Boost. It's, it doesn't perform nearly as well. So this is a mixture of that. Boost, failed Boost foam, Puma version called Energy, along with uh, uh, Ignite foam. Uh, and the worst thing you could do with shoes when it comes to cushioning, if you encased it in a, a thick rubber outer layer like this, yeah, it's, uh, it really kills the cushioning. It really negates the shock impact on the uh, and the uh, fresh off the box, uh, soft to the touch type of feel that you get on your feet. If you've tried the brand black uh, J crossover, uh, they have uh, a good midsole called the black foam, but it's encased in this uh, hard rubber coating. So it's it's negated. It's really reduced the cush the cushioning uh, effectiveness is reduced. Uh, I don't know why they do that. Perhaps to make sure. They can contain it better so it won't go out of shape and provide some sort of stability. But to me, stability is when you com when you get compressed, your feet actually goes down and uh, there's less uh, uh, space, there's less height between your feet and the ground and it becomes lower upon impact. That's all you need. You don't need these stupid casings. Maybe they thought it looked cool. They tried it in the Kobe's. Uh, it was okay because it was much, the, the casing was the, it was a, a thinner film, it was softer, and they had a, a big zoom cushioning at the heel, so the heel landing or step back uh, cushioning was not too bad. Uh, of course, the forefoot, not that great. Uh, a thin layer, layer of lunar coated with this, yeah, the cushioning dies a lot. But they had a very thick orthodox insole that played a significant role in improving the cushioning for the Kobe's. But for this Puma Clyde Cordesrap, instead of the, the usual Ortholite insole. They sometimes give a really thick one for certain, uh, not even performance wear, casual lifestyle wear. They give thick ortholite insoles, and sometimes they can do a good job of uh, fortifying the cushioning of the shoe. But for this one, the client Court Disrupt, they use a tiny, weeny, paper thin EVA type of insole. 
this kind of stuff bottoms out after a couple of games where so they're basically useless non-existent why do they even bother uh, the outsole pattern they did something that's a, a tribute to what the shoe is based on uh the cord uh the cord Clyde uh, cord Clyde Clyde cord which is a very classic looking converse sneaker type of looking basketball shoe low top basketball shoe that was iconic because Walt Frazier of uh, the New York Knicks uh, wore it on and off the court to uh, make it look like a, a a fashion item and more people bought uh, Pumas after he uh, he adorned them and made them look great in the spotlight getting triple doubles and leading the team to uh, championships and whatnot unfortunately uh, the outdoor pattern does not work here it's like a uh, an, an inferior version of uh, KD6 Elite. So KD6 had a decent outsole, but they, they turned the pattern inside out or the photo negative version of the KD6 pattern to make the KD8, KD6 Elite patterns, and it was very slippery. And this is actually worse than that. I don't know what kind of material they use, but this rubber, uh, it's, it's, it's really hard. It's not the kind of rubber they use in that's used in basketball shoes these days, which is a lot mushier. Uh, they probably, I guess this is good if you want to play in asphalt. Go ahead. Uh, you could do that. But, yeah, if you're going to do that, why don't you just buy other shoes that provides better cushioning than this? It also weighs around 400 grams for a size, no, size 9. So that's quite heavy, quite on the heavy side. As for the, the upper, it looks like uh, nice little knitted materials, but you don't feel it. It doesn't serve any purpose because inside there's an inner booty so that's hug, that hugs your feet this has no effect it does not uh, form to your feet it does not provide any kind of extra breathability so it's just to look fashionable and up to date with other leading brands like Nike or Adidas so Puma uh, nice silhouette nice try but this is a total failure in terms of basketball shoes if especially if you're making making professional players wear this to hoop well i feel sorry for the guys who signed up let's hope they come up with some type of uh, upgrades for you guys soon this is a horrible horrible basketball shoes in more ways than one cushioning is very minimal uh the weight is <laughs> it's a recent air jordan-esque that's not a compliment uh and the fit the fit is a little all over the place it's got it's got a very high room in the toe box. Uh, it's not that wide, but not that tight. I would advise going true to size, if not go down half a size. But whatever you do, it's not gonna be a great fit for you. Yeah, let's wait. Let's hope the next Puma basketball shoes they make significant progress from what they learned through the mistakes that's been poured into the Puma Court Clyde disrupt Puma Clyde Court disrupt. Sorry, Puma, I don't have nice things to say about your shoes. I really hope you uh, do a better job with the next one. Well, only where to go is up once you hit rock bottom like this, right? If you, if you like the silhouette, if you want to keep it as a, for, as a memento uh, to commemorate the fact that Puma tried to make a comeback into the basketball world, into the basketball game, then yeah, keep it. It's the first signature shoes of guys like Trey Young, uh, can't really say nice things about other Puma guys that signed up. Uh, Aiden is not doing a great job in the season so far. Uh, Cousins signed up with Puma, so he's probably wearing this or some, what, something similar to this. Uh, yeah. Good luck, guys. Hope they make significant upgrades soon.